Hello Tubesters, it's Gav. Welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, today we're going to have a very quick, well not so quick unboxing of these guys. It's just the two figures in the handcart. Uh, two youngsters of the Volkstrom, so the German Home Guard. Uh, this is obviously by the bus stop appearance of the cityscape that they're in you know, right at the end of the war when it really was uh, all hands to the pump. So this is to go on my Tiger build, it will say something like Tiger Vlog, whatever it, number it is. Uh, it's, uh, that's progressing well, I didn't see the point in, in showing you say that before I showed these. Uh, I'm at the moment, I'm just put the base coat down on, I put some blackout uh, curtains I'd seen, I've sold to you guys before, but this is in case anybody hasn't seen any of those videos. It appears uh, from photographs that I've seen, uh, mainly in Berlin, but I couldn't see why it wouldn't be in other uh, cities as well. Uh, the crews had obviously ripped off uh, old blackout material uh, from the war. Uh, obviously windows were blacked out with, with curtains or boards, but usually like big heavy drapes, um, especially in government type buildings that needed to be on all the time. And they've obviously tried to cover the side skirts up. It was just draped over parts of the the turret and the, the main hull, especially obviously at the front where it could be seen more. Uh, a lot of it was missing. You could see they'd obviously either just done it, I wouldn't say half-heartedly, but obviously it was bombs raining down and, and artillery shells in the day, bombs at night. Uh, they probably didn't have a great deal of time to do it. I think it was just a case of somebody came up with the idea. Uh, some of them have got rope stretched or wire stretched along the side skirts and as I say, um, put the, the, the drapes off that as well. So I've tried to show it uh, with just three or four pieces on. Um, I might add an extra piece yet, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I've dressed most of the the base, it's, the, the base itself. I need to do a bit more around uh, the cobblestone area, although by the time I've added bits and pieces, there won't be many cobblestones left to see. Uh, I've actually found myself really tight for space. This is when you don't plan your builds properly and do one of them proper plans and put them down on a on the phone that you're going to work on and say right yeah that works I didn't do any of that uh, I just eyeballed it all uh, I have got room for the figures but it's fairly tight so uh, which is a bit of a shame I'd have preferred a tiny bit more room but it is what it is so join me at the bench guys uh, we'll have a look at these these couple of figures they are literally sprues like about this big uh, there's not much to them but I did say I'd give you a, a quick uh, show and tell right guys uh, this is all a bit compressed. Uh, I haven't got much room on the bench as usual. Uh, I'm not going to put the big uh, rig up for the for the camera. It really is just a quick show before I start cleaning these figures off, which will be in another hour or so. Uh, very simple uh, instruction sheet, uh, just telling you what you need to do with the uh, handcart. Nothing on the other side. Uh, figures must be self-explanatory as they, they don't have any. PE for the handcart wheels. I presume you do uh, two together to give you that spoked effect. Uh, and some straps by the look of it. Yep, buckles and straps. Let's look at our little handcart. Just one sprue by the look of it. Sides, uh, tyres, a deck, and handles, I presume. Little storage box. That's that. Let's look at the figures. I said before I was surprised I didn't have any Panzerfausts in on my last video. I did tack it onto the description saying I'd found three, which is all you need, uh, and there are indeed three Panzerfausts there. You get the option. There's our guy's face. Quite a nice face actually there. Uh, looks like we've got a collar. Is that collar there? Looks like it's a collar. Uh, we've got a couple of steel helmets. Mold lines down the uh, seam of the trousers, but actually quite well moulded. I know you you say, well, it's you know legs, trousers doesn't you know. How can they go wrong? But you do see some fairly naff efforts, and this is quite nice. Gators or 
ankle debris anyway. Automatic rifles, which uh, is it the 43? Got a British Sten there. I'm not sure if that's going to be in Berlin really, so I won't. I doubt I'll be using that one. But as I have a very lacking spare, uh, spares box, so I'm sure I can uh, put that in a little box with the rest of the bits and pieces. We've got yet another helmet here. So three helmets. Well, again, spares box. I don't think they'll be trolling around with three helmets really. A uh, couple of potato mashers. This is the girl's legs, obviously, because she's got a skirt on. There's a skirt. It's probably a seam that you'll probably have to fill there. See her face, which is always important on figures. Ah, all right then. Let's find her face. I'm trying to do this through the camera lens. Here we go. Let's get it round, Gav. Um, hard to tell really, looks alright, nothing particularly amazing. She's supposed to be a young girl's face, so uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, a couple of car 98s, aren't they? Look, three respirator tins, gas masks. And that, I believe, is that. So, yeah, there, there's um, it's hard to be that picky. Uh, uh, I'm not sure whether I'm be putting the helmets on my guys or not. Te realistically, they should do because I mean things are flying all over the place, as you'll see by the tank. So I might put the helmets on them. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just felt like I mean we can knock up some some other stowage, and and the, the handcart isn't that big to put a load of stowage on anyway. Happy with the pan fan Panzerfausts. Maybe a couple of boxes of ammo or something like that. You know, uh, this is what they, these these youngsters are doing. They're ferrying supplies around to the to the to the others. Um, so yeah, I'd have ditched the Sten gun. Um, would they really have been carrying a couple of Car 98s around? I don't know. I would I would have preferred just for them really to be honest with you, Panzerfaust because you always see literally everyone bedecked with Panzerfaust. I'd have preferred some Panzerfausts and uh, some boxes of ammo really but you get what you're given and we work with it so uh, yep yeah, there we go so we've got uh, three sprues that's what you get for your money uh, I, I'm, I'm talking money and I can't even tell you what I've spent on them on uh, I've got mine from Dave Coley's Emporium here in the UK uh, always quite uh, reasonable with the prices and the post and getting them out to you as well uh, is, is pretty good there's our photo etch there's our hand cart built up. And as I say, both both kids are pulling the hand cart along. So, guys, thank you very, very much uh, for popping by and taking a look at this video. It is a short one for a change. I'm actually almost wanting to, to talk just to, uh, to make it longer. <laughs> uh, but no. Uh, so yeah, the the we're, we're pushing on. We're on the last knockings on this now. Uh, we've got, as I say, these figures to do, which you know take me a couple of nights probably, and uh, and the hand cart, and then I've just got a tiny bit more scenery dressing to do, on and and I, I need to work out. I'm looking around where I'm talking. I need to just do something with the uh, the the actual flat area between the barricade and the the bus up building. It needs to be obviously looking like. All hell's broken loose, really. So uh, yeah, I've got a bit, tiny bit more to do on it, but not a lot. Everything's painted, uh, and I've added, as I say, some different ideas into the rubble effects and stuff. Um, so uh, we're we, we're getting to the close on that one, which I'm happy about because it's dragged on a bit, really. I, I just, but with everything else I was trying to get done, uh, I took my eye off the ball a bit. Uh, we've got the Chevy, which uh, was primed today. And that's hopefully we're going to get a, a, a coat of paint uh, Saturday or Sunday, uh, even if it's just the, the basic metallic down first. Uh, the engine's not done yet, so. <laughs> uh, but but uh, yeah, that's going to have a coat of paint on it. And then I'm trying to clear the decks because we've got Greg Riley of Greg Riley's 1 in 35 scale models. He's doing his T34 group build. Uh, he's put a Facebook page up I believe with uh, the with no post stuff on uh, and I've got obviously my my kit so I will 
I think I've done an unboxing for you guys already. In fact, I know I have. Uh, so I'll just, I'll just again just say, well, here it is. I'm, I'm rocking and rolling. Um, I don't do a lot of these type of group builds because it tends to mess with my head. But uh, he's a good bloke, and uh, he was the one that he, he didn't actually sell me the T34, but he sent me the link. <laughs> I owe him. <laughs> he's, I never thought of doing the T34. It's you know, it's his favourite tank. And I'm not that fussed. <laughs> it's a decent design, but I'm not 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 a massive T34 fan. But uh, we'll do our best. <laughs> so uh, so yeah. So I need to clear the decks to get that one sorted out. So guys, thank you very much. Hope this was useful for you. If you were thinking of buying them, uh, I, again, I just it's not got a price on these. I don't think. No, no price. So. Uh, no idea what I paid. It's from Dave Coley and he's very reasonable, so I wouldn't have paid a lot for him. Uh, but uh, yeah, you get a big box and a couple of tiny sprues. But uh, yeah, it says what it, it does what it says on the tin. Look after yourselves. We'll catch each other very very soon on another video. Cheers.